Public administration for social change has a very important component of e-governance. In this section, we would understand e-governance, various platforms that have been enabled through the national e-governance plan, the success of the Digital India Initiative and the concept of e-codes, go digital, go paperless concept. So to start with, e-governance is an electronic governance and it occurs in four phases. The first is the phase of information. Then there is interaction, transaction and transformation formation according to the Gartner's e-governance maturity model and this helps us to establish a connected government to understand that the platforms in the government are well functioning and there is an integrated infrastructure which looks after that. So we have various uh, setups where we understand that e-governance initiatives have developed significantly. For example, Umang app, mobile e-governance service deliveries, we have the National Center for Geoinformatics, DigiLocker, Open Data, Service Delivery Gateways and so on. So let's understand about those one by one. Now e-governance as we said is essential for maintaining quality leadership and coordination and it helps us to maintain online database. Online database which would focus on the number of people vaccinated, the financial assistance provided, the number of hospitalizations, hospital beds, uh, the vacant beds, focusing on travel restrictions and so on. The idea of e-governance is to provide timely delivery of services to the citizen, bring in more accountability and transparency, informing the people to their best, bringing in more efficiency, faster uh, governance with minimum government, maximum governance and improving the interface between business and industries. But there have been certain challenges. The first important challenges is the huge digital divide in India, which hampers the progress of e-governance initiative. Now in India, e-governance has started through series after 1970s with the establishment of Department of Electronics by Government of India. In 77, the National Informatics Center came into power, uh, existence and in 87, NICNET was launched which is a national satellite based computer network. It was further extended to state capitals and district headquarters in 1990. In 99, the creation of Ministry of IT took place and a 12-point minimum agenda for e-governance was laid down in 2000. 2006 was the year where we witnessed the national e-governance plan which had 27 mission mode projects along with 8 different components. In 2009, 4 more of them, uh, in 2011, 4 more of them were added. Those are health, education, PDS and post, public distribution system and post. And in 2009, a national e-governance division was created as an independent business division under Digital India Corporation. 2015, we had the Digital India program. Now the National E-Governance Plan, which was launched in 2006, initially had 27 mission mode projects which increased to 31 in 2011, including health education, public distribution systems and post. And there are 11 center, 13 state and 7 integrated uh, systems under this. The make all government services accessible to all common man is the idea. So public-private partnerships have been uh, enhanced. There is integrative elements, centralized initiative initiatives and decentralized implementations of the concept and then there is a significant development through the mission mode projects. Now this has the horizontal component that is across all agencies, vertical component between the local state and the center. Then we have the infrastructure that connects to, uh, different departments, different platforms and connection between various stakeholders, private, government, NGO and so on. So all these are part of this scheme. Now the central uh, concepts focus on banking, income tax, all those that fall under the central ambit. The state focuses on agriculture, e-panchayat, municipality, PDS and the integrated focus on the e-business, e-codes, e-procurement, a national portal. Now the Digital India uh, Initiative was 
started in 2015 and the idea was to bridge the digital divide to bring in digital literacy and online service positions even uh, provisions even in the villages with the strengthening of the digital infrastructure we are also focusing on empowering citizens through digital mode so there are nine pillars of growth which have been demarcated by department of electronics and telecommunication and technology uh, uh, information technology and those are highways mobile internet then e governance e kranti which is the electronic delivery of services information for all electronic jobs electronic manufacturing and early harvest programs so there has been a service delivery assessment under the national e governance service delivery assessment program and it focuses on adopting e governance on a day to day basis and under this the various parameters which are considered is mainly accessibility easy use integration or at a easier level Level, better content availability and better tracking facilities also in the post covid scenario we are focusing on e governance uh, mandatory sector specific focus is required and uh, the new age technologies must be incorporated so e codes are now available uh, we have mobile apps for the members of judiciary advocates and litigations uh, now go digital go paperless has started e chalan which is uh, done as a digital traffic enforcement solution is now electronically sent instead of paper directly to your home dbt is direct benefit uh, transfer scheme which directly makes paperless transfer direct to your bank accounts through the umang app and the registered bank account funds are transferred via this app so there are various developments but the main concern still lies as digital divide problems with infrastructural establishments and interoperability so those are some of the major concerns that are to be addressed under uh, the social change and e governance so this is a very very important topic specifically for your gs paper 4 ethics and administration we would be covering many such important topics for you and the detailed description of these are available in the link below